So on this day I headed out to the lake on a quick trip here. I was getting ready to go out of town, but I wanted to go over and try it real quick. And it's not a real warm day and it's really windy. But I get over to the lake, start fishing, and I'm hooked up here with a pretty decent fish, feels like. Fighting pretty good. Oh yeah, not too bad. Well, this is a good two three pound yeah, two two and a half pound fish. Not too shabby. Normally these cloudy windy days are when the fish are are most active, but early in the year when the water is really cold not necessarily the case but I got this one to bite here so we get it unhooked get a look at it here and I guess we'll go ahead and get a weight on this fish see what it's gonna be it's like about two and a half maybe And we'll get the scale zeroed out, hook it up here, and it's going to come in at 2.6 pounds. 2.6, just a little over two and a half. Not too shabby. We'll take it. Get this fish back in the lake. Thanks, darling. Have a good one. Keep on fishing here. We get hooked up with a little fish this time. This one's not feeling very big. So I'm skating him in across the top here. Just a little guy. They gotta eat too. Not a very big one. Get that fish back. Make another cast here. Still throwing the lipless crankbait. So it continues to produce day after day. A lot of the local lakes are having algae blooms, and this lake's no exception. A lot of algae along the bank, making it harder and harder to fish these lipless crankbaits. But hooked up with another fish here, and this one again does not feel very big. But we'll get it in here and get it unhooked. Another bass on the season. Third bass of the day here. Just another little guy. So change spots. Decided to try another area. And the wind is really blowing. And all of a sudden it starts snowing on me it's like 50 degrees outside and there's snow coming down I think it actually started before this I just didn't really recognize it as snow until this point but it is snowing on us The wind is blowing pretty good. But we'll see if we can't catch one over here. Been having some pretty good luck in this spot lately. There's a big flat that goes about halfway out from the other bank out into the middle here. So I'm throwing out on the edge of that flat and working my lure off that flat and off the brake line. And there's some scattered weeds along that edge, and that's where these fish are hanging out. As I hook up with another good fish here, this one feels a lot bigger than the last two. I found one of those areas that had some clumps of weeds in it, and that's when that fish hit it, and I pulled it through those weeds. 
we got a pretty good one on here. This one feels pretty good. Get up here. Yeah. That one's pushing three pounds, looks like. That is a nice fish. I'll take those all day long. Not bad at all. Especially when the snow's coming at you. It was just a real short snowstorm. Then it cleared up here and got really sunny out. Kind of weird. So we hook this fish up and get a weight on it. And this fish is going to come in at... Two, three, 2.9 2.9 pounds just under 3 pounds pretty nice one especially on a cold windy day I'm not going to complain about that at all so we'll let her go and get back to fishing here Just, like I said before, casting out on top of this flat out here in the middle and working it off the flat and then off the brake line. Really only got probably 10 or 15 yards of productive area to work my lure through work, fishing like this. That's why it's nice to have the boat out. You can just anchor up and fish right down the brake line but sometimes being out in the boat alerts the fish that you're there and when you're making long casts like this off the bank the fish have no idea they have no idea that you're there and so those bigger ones are sometimes a lot more willing to bite when you're doing it this way Just working that lipless crankbait close to the bottom through the weeds. So I hook up with a little fish here. The last fish of this short trip here today before I head out for Denver, Colorado to go see my new niece. As we drag this fish in, it's just a little guy again. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.